Hello! Welcome back to another episode of Chill Film Discussion, it's episode 30, um, and this is a place where me and my co-host Austin, we watch a film offline and we discuss it. Discussing it means we talk about what we like, don't like, how we could improve it, and everything, all sorts of things related to the plot, characters, and the themes. There are no rules. Just discussions and opinions. No right or wrong. Everyone has a. It's all chill, and everyone has a. Hopefully, has a good time. Um, <laughs> yes, sir. Whoever, whoever, whoever watches it. But yeah, today's uh, today's episode, today's film that we're discussing is uh, called Miracle in Cell Number no. Seven. It is a Korean, a South Korean, comedy drama film. And uh, it's directed by Lee Hwan Kyun. Um, I, I'm not familiar uh, with any of these any of these people. A very interesting film. Uh, it's about a mentally challenged man who was wrongfully accused for murder of a little girl, and sort of like how it details how he and his daughter sort of um, go through that false accusation. Plus, of course, there's a supporting cast of prison inmates, which offers about a nice bit of comedic relief. I think that overall, the what really, what really, the, the thing that was most prominent in this film for me was the relationship between the father and the daughter. Um, I think they, I think the acting between the two was phenomenal. I think the chemistry between the two was very good, and I think the um, it really did build up to the climax of the film, where basically. The, the, the father has to say goodbye to the daughter and uh, just a, yeah. before he's, you know, death sentence. And um, it, this film definitely made me shed a tear um, or shed more than just a tear, shed maybe shed tears because of that that sort of emotional buildup uh, between this parent-child dynamic. And I think that portrayal was very well done in this film um, to actually make you really care about these characters. Uh, something else I really liked about this film um, were the supporting cast so the inmates, the prison inmates, and the police chief in particular, because they, first of all, I mean, the acting was still, was very good um, in my mind. Uh, but also they, the, the prison inmates provided a nice comedic relief. Um, and they also had their own sub arcs, um, their own yeah. arcs that go through it. And it was, not all of them had an arc, but like some of them did. And it was, it felt very uh, natural. And um, given the context of like, you know, they had a common goal of smuggling Yisun, the daughter into the prison. Um, and how to like, also like, uh, prove, uh, the dad's innocent, um, like all these different, like common goals that they had, uh, really felt like they bonded together and they built a genuine relationship with each other. Um, in addition, of course, like the police chief and his, his arc, because he has a backstory of like having his son, like he had a, uh, a son who died due to some circumstances that are unclear in the movie, but um, also his, uh, how he builds a relationship with the daughter, Yisun, um, and how he cares for the, the dad because he knows that he's innocent since, you know, um, yeah. he like investigated more himself on the side. But mm -hmm. of course, they're battling this corrupt justice system because of course the police commissioner's daughter died because of the, and, and then the dad is accused of that death. So he wants revenge. Um, so it is very unfortunate circumstances considering also the dad is kind of like mentally challenged as well. So he, he, yeah. he can't really... He, 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 he's handicapped, which is very unfortunate. Yeah. Um, which makes it even more sad <laughs> uh, the, given the circumstances um, of his trial and his death. Mm -hmm. um, I think overall, those are things I really liked about the movie. Uh, the thing I would probably improve about, the thing I didn't like about the movie was actually the, just the beginning um, I think the beginning of the film was kind of confusing because it introduced a lot of these characters and except the, like what they were doing in the present. And of course it yeah. was explained, it would explain what, how these, all these characters know each other in the flashback, which is what the main story is, how the main story is told. But I think a lot of the scenes in the beginning are kind of unnecessary and over dramatized. And I, it came off as pretty cheesy for me. Um, so it didn't really hook me as much. Um, as I think it was meant to be as a hook. Um, so 
I think it could have just like been stripped down to the bare bones of like the trial and the yellow balloon scene, which is symbolic of the, uh, which is nice symbolism of like, um, sort of freedom for the dad, um, as you know, he later gets exonerated. Uh, yeah. But yeah, the beginning was over dramatized and it was a little clunky and like, there's a lot going on. I feel like it could have been trimmed down to like the bare bones. And then because the the main part of this film really was in the flashback and then the, the 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 sort of um, providing the context behind why there was this trial happening much later in the right. future to, to sort of prove the innocence of someone who was wrongfully accused. Um, yeah. But yeah, that was my biggest gripe with the film. But overall, fantastic film. I, I, I really enjoyed it. It got me emotional. I think um, I would definitely recommend it uh, to to people yeah. because it's not too long of a film. It's only like two hours, I think. So it definitely did not feel like it over... You know, state it's welcome. Um, yeah, it definitely felt, you know, in- engaging. Engaging, so, for sure. Okay. And, uh, yeah, overall, I think I would highly re- I would recommend this film. And I would probably give it an eight. An eight. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, my biggest gripe was the beginning. I mean, the beginning wasn't too yeah. long, but, like, that was definitely something noticeable where I was like, I don't know, I can't give it. <laughs> you know, nine yeah. ten range. Uh, so that, yeah. No, so so I think uh, for me, I you know I definitely enjoy this movie. Um, as you said, you you make bring a lot of good points about the plot, and I, I think this is just a very charming story, right? Or at least beginning, right? Just of mm-hmm. showing, you know, how Yonggu and and Yi Sung kind of you know the relationship and how, you know showing their love for each other, right? How this guy, um, really cares for her daughter, um, but also kind of a commentary on the system of, of just like how the you know the police and justice system kind of failed him, right? Because mm-hmm. they kind of you put a guy who's innocent who can't really defend himself, uh, who gets all the blame where no justice is served as all, and that that kind of elicits frustration. And I think it's a good way to show that um, with the with these sympathetic characters, right? Um, there's definitely someone who's wrong, but it's like not you can't really fix it at all. Um, yeah. So um, you try to you know you know, you to have Yi who tries to grow up and tries to fix the problem at the end, um, and trying to finally get the justice and we get the symbolism balloon which you know i thought was you know very appreciated um but yeah it's just you know just seeing the story and just you know you know seeing how it plays up and then seeing the frustration of you know someone who who is innocent not being able to get um you know due process yeah um, for sure. it definitely you know got me you know to tear up especially that ending scene you know i love it when you know movies kind of elicit this kind of emotion because i think you know the director can do that it's able to manipulate and do you know draw these emotion, able to, you know, pinpoint, you know, hu- the, the, like the human experience, able to say, yeah, this is, you know, something sad and something that, you know, we, we can go through, something we can be sympathetic and relate to. Uh, I just love that those kind of moments and love that ending, you know, when he's, you know, you know, crying and pleading for help and no one can help him. It's just, you know, really, really sad. And, um, you know, you know, you want to help him, but, you know, and you want, you know, want, you want things to you know, be okay, but, you know, nothing can happen. And, you know, you're just you know, becoming frustrated at that point as, as well. Um, I think, yeah, you know, I I really like just the you know how Yonggu kind of you know affects each person positively and how he yep. kind of wins people over yep. just because he's you know really he literally kind of saves their lives save people <laughs> and then that kind of like turns them makes them convinced that this guy is okay and that that's probably true probably more dramatized version of it right just because you know you you know how do you kind of re- you know make someone redeemable how do you make someone know that you know they're they're good is that if they save your life right it's like oh this guy yeah. you know if he was bad right he wouldn't do anything he'd be more selfish but no this guy is kind of selfless and is willing to do things for the other sake of others and they you know recognize that and they try to help him in turn um which is heartwarming right to see how they try to you know do things do favors for him to, to how to make it you know even the people who are you know you know you thought were thrown in prison how they kind of um even you know open up the hearts and you know you know try to help their their plight and they're actually you know care, kind of caring they kind of become like a, a unit a family unit right trying to um let Yonggu and Yi Sung, you know, together and enjoy life together, as, you know, their, their short time together. Um, but yeah, the, the, the approaching execution day kind of, you know, puts a damper on everything. Um, I did not, you know, my gripe about this movie, I don't think I had a gripe at the beginning like you did. I, you know, I felt like, you know, you know it was kind of, you know, confusing just to see like, who these people are and trying to keep track. But kind of, you know, at, at, you know, later on in the movie, you kind of, you know, get these callbacks, which I thought was interesting. Beginning, I thought it was supposed to be hooked, you know, because of these comedic kind of, you know, non serious moments, but, you know, didn't work obviously didn't work for you but i think that's what's supposed to you know work for everyone else and i think it's just there to you know you know just introduce who these people are how they're doing in life now how are they you know able to you know move on from their prison life sure. uh, my biggest gripes i think well not gripes i would say um one was just you know i think i would have liked to see more about what happened to the chief 
uh, police chief's son, right? They kind of kind of touch upon it, but we don't really, I don't think, get a clear indicator. Mm-hmm. I think that would have been nice to see, you know, see like the growth, actual growth of the police chief and how he all you know, kind of transforms. You know, understand the decisions he make. We kind of understand kind of like subtly that yeah. this guy does it because you know he lost his own son. He gets to be sympathetic, but yeah. we were kind of wanted to see what actually happened to his own son. Yeah. Another thing that that kind of got to me was actually how quick the trial or the way that trial ended because mm. i feel like you song kind of has a very emotional like appeal right and i feel like the the the, the cause of that the effect of that right the judge becomes you know like very sympathetic because of you know, emotional i kind of wanted to be more procedural fact right she's using it the law and justice to do it and you know she does have that you know um, cathartic moment where where it's where at the trial day she, try, she tries to say everything throws the book at it like the way the procedure happened but the way that the trial ended right the whole story ended right she just makes her final real verdict and appeal and i just thought it was just you know maybe too easy and maybe i mean it was just you know too quickly that it came into it mm-hmm. i feel, i see that the movie wanted to end but i just felt that the, the trial ended it seemed like the trial was pushed right to her favorable verdict after an emotional appeal when yeah. when I wanted it, to, I think, to be more legal, right? Legal yeah. needs to like, oh yeah, it had to be because the law was wrong, the procedure wasn't going to happen, you know, the commissioner was wrong. I wanted to think I more more karmic justice to happen um, to, yeah. to, to, yeah. to be, instead of having to be more emotional, right? Because the, the way you why he was, you know, thrown in jail is because it was an emotional decision. So I wanted it to be, again, I think, more, you know, steadfast law to, 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 to to mm. kind of confirm that he, he that you know the father was wrongfully in prison okay. um but i think that, that that was probably my you know biggest grip just how the way that the trial ended or how quickly right I, I, but again the movie ended they, we saw the climax right mm-hmm. um which you know was, was really really well done which yeah. i really enjoyed yeah. um this whole movie definitely was good and i love the symbolism too just you know just comparing the balloon flying away and yeah it was kind of ridiculous <laughs> you know, thinking about it but like it was, I found it funny, it, was but... yeah, it was it, it was a sweet moment right yeah, just the actually, same moment, you know, yeah. seeing, seeing seeing the sunset everyone's just you know down and then just comparing that with the balloon itself like, yeah. you know it's attached it's definitely that you know that you know the connection symbolism and then it flies away the burden is gone she can let go and she can finally know that her father is free it's very you know heartwarming in that regard yeah um, so i really really enjoyed the movie but there's some things you know maybe could have you know done better um in terms of, like the character development like there's a lot of side characters um maybe could have written it out and those two things i think kind of you know put a damper but overall we really really enjoy the movie um the rating i probably give it i think is probably an 8.5 i would say uh yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> 8.5 oh it's so not quite a nine all right uh maybe a nine yeah i, mean, I really enjoyed this movie just how how i, I would give it I, I think i would give it a nine yeah, I'd give it an. I'll, I'll I'll bump it up. I give it okay, a, just, all right. Because I've I've I, I enjoyed it. So it's just and just you know, those, those little things. I don't think ruined the movie for me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think you know just the way that it you know it was portrayed, it was portrayed you know well. We got to see this relationship, this story. It was yeah. sad and heartening. Um, yeah. I, I I'd give it a nine. And I definitely recommend this movie. I think anyone can watch it. Everyone will enjoy. It. Who whoever watches it will see the you know the family relationships. Um, would we'll, we'll see the, the the justice system that is not working. It just you know yeah. become very sympathetic. Yeah. Uh, I think anyone can watch them. So. Yeah. I I would say that. For sure. Cool. Well, that's our verdict. That's uh. Thanks for tuning in to another episode and discussion of a film that we both liked i guess um i think yeah. it might have been a it's been a while since either of us have really disliked the film i think <laughs> maybe well that's true yeah yeah <laughs> Wolf of Wall Street was our, our lowest but we yes yeah, yes. Uh, yeah. Back to a bad film yeah a really bad it wasn't it wasn't yeah Wolf of Wall Street wasn't bad it's just um like it was there was some artistic there was some yeah. there was some artistry yeah. behind it like it was yeah yeah no, that's that's a it was well it was well made. It was well made. Uh it's just maybe not something for everyone. Yeah. Right. That's true. Well, cool. Um, well that concludes this episode. Uh I hope you guys have a great day whenever you watch this, if you watch this. Um uh, but otherwise we'll see you we'll see you all uh next week that Sunday at eleven AM Pacific time. Yeah. Until then, peace. Bye.